Kami po yung nagbabalik dito lamang sa loob ng napakaingay at napakainit na arena sa lungsod ng San Juan. Ang estudyante ng University of Perpetual Health System Delta and the students of Arellano University in full effect and full support. Isang magandang hapon sa ating kaibigan na miyembro ng management committee ng NCA na si Ginoong Paul Supan ng JRU na nanunod at nag enjoy ng ating aksyon at labanan sa pagitan ng Arellano at Perpetual ngayong hapon. Lamang po ng dalawa ang Perpetual Health 54-52. Pinakamalaking kalamangan ng Perpetual was at 5 when the score was 47-52. to Para naman sa Arellano, their biggest lead was 7. Thompson fires away offline. Smart play by Gap Lagamon. Ball will retain with perpetual help after hitting an Arellano player there. Scotty Thompson bringing the ball inbounds. Nice look to Quetti. Baklase. Less a foul. Binanggana. Nilista mo ba para kay Bright Aquetti? Let me see to see Scotty Thompson has not really been scoring that much today. But it's all in the other uh, departments. Talaga na tumutulong siya. He has eight rebounds so far. He has seven assists. So nearing a triple double. Itong si uh, Scotty Thompson. That's yun ang yun ang effect niya. Dito sa kapo na ni Coach Arik de Rosario. Maklasi pinapakita ng ating uh, dalawang guardian na ina hype natin kanina on top of the coverage. Good friends Giovanni Alalon and Scotty Thompson. Aquetti doesn't complete the three point play. He has 17 today. Coach Arik Del Rosario, katabi na ang ating uh, mga statisticians. And that back shot is good. Kala kay David Ortega. Unang dos puntos ni Ortega ngayong araw. Binaba ang kalamangan ng perpetual sa dalawa. 56-54. Thompson, the drive, has nowhere to go and finds Kapilte some way somehow. Tagangon, thought about it. Kabangon. Tagangon, that is. Tinamaan ang kanyang... Uh, Kaliwang paa ng bola, kaya last touch. He got Dagangon and Perpetual and the ball back. Marillano, as we take a look at this replay, hitting his right foot, that is, on his left. Nichols fires away. Skying high for the rebound is Bright Osagi Aqueti. Coronel, binalik ang bola sa kanilang commander, kanilang uh, piloto na si Scotty Thompson, the kick out to Coronel. 4-3, in and out. Thompson gets the rebound. That's Scotty's ninth rebound, third offensive today. Scotty. Coronel, back to Thompson. Scotty Thompson, the guy that's on the finds Gap Dagangon. And Holtz with a rebound. Tingnan natin, wala pa yung Giovanni Halalon. Pinapahinga ni Coach Jerry Codiniera. Jerry saving to see Giovanni Halalon for the crucial minutes of this game. Giovanni Halalon coming in with 8 minutes and 8 seconds left. Chris Lopre for Earl Thompson. Chris Lopre, he's going to see Scotty Thompson. Nestor Bantayan binalik na rin sa loob ni uh, Coach Eric Del Rosario. And Ilagan is also back on the floor. It's Halalon using that Gumaru pick. Halalon finds Nichols, pero naubusan ng oras ng Siliano. Turnover para sa Chiefs. 24 second shot clock violation. Balik ang leather sa perpetual help. Two minutes have gone by here in a fourth and final period, Coach Olsen. Yes, with Scotty Thompson now uh, resting, eh, I expect a lot of uh, plays na pupunta dito kay Bright Aquetti. Wide open at the corner is Elopre. No go. Nichols with a rebound. Halalon back to Nichols. Zach finds Julius Cadavis. Finds Zach Nichols. That was a good give and go and a foul. Ita tao dito kay Gab Dagangon. Tulong si Aquetti. Kailangan nila pasan nya ito si Kadavis because nakatalawa na to si Kadavis sa kanya from the perimeter and that's why it left to si Jack Nichols open underneath. Good good pass by Julius Kadavis. Jack Nichols 
at the line. Just for his fourth point today, first trip to the line today is Zach Nichols. Surprisingly for a three-point shooter, he's just averaging 33% from the free throw stripe. Season 91. Gets both free throws there that time around. Thompson. Got the gun on. They cross the timeline. Bantayan. Ang may tatilagan, pinag-isipan. And ah, yun guys, yes, sabi ko po, Coach Olsen. Bright Akweti, simple, simple, pag ibigay mo sa loob. Oo, oh, napakita yung patience yung perpetual doon. They were open for the three-point shot in the corner, pero hinintay nito si Ilagan, si Akweti, doon sa seal na yun. Pinalik na si Scotty Thompson sa laro. Ni Coach Eric Del Rosario, David Ortega, may tanang ng bola. Ortega finds Cadavis. The strip by Ilagan. Thompson sees a streaking Dagangon all the way. Uh, Ilis naman na. Ang 11 puntos ni Gab Dagangon. Palik tayo sa kabila. Halalon misses on that pull-up. Lamang na ng apat ang perpetua. Thompson nahanap libreng libre si Ilagan. Too strong. Thompson, the offensive rebound and the putback. Grabe, linalo ni Scotty Thompson. Siya na ng bola. He tried to make that assist pass. Nakuha pa na offensive rebound. At siya pa yung nakashoot sa play na yun. All around, itong si Scotty today. Bumawi from that game against San Vela where he missed those crucial free throws. Agawan ng bola. But the shot clock didn't reset to 14. It's 5 and it's sticking down. Cadavis with that short stop in and out. What the time to miss for Julius Cadavis. Sayang yung libreng libre na siya from the perimeter. 62 for Perpetual Health. 56 for Arellano University. Who will get win number five? Oh, and nice look inside to Aquiri and a foul. Sa loob. Dito kay Julius Cadavis. Pangatlo ni Julius Cadavis. As we take a look at this fast play of the game brought to you by Smart. Live the smart life. Kent Salado is back. An assist count on that. I think that was an assist by uh, Scotty Thompson there on uh, the Gangon. Akweti now with 20 points. Akweti averaging 21.5 points per game. Their leading scorer. Just five rebounds though for Bright. Misses on that second free throw. Ito ng pinakamalaking kalamangan sa pito ng perpetual Halalon. Wala si Halalon. Di mahanap ang kanyang barka here in the fourth quarter after scoring a team high of 12 in the first half. He just has 14-2 in the second, in the third quarter. Yes, coach. Yes, without Eze there inside presence dun sa depensa ng perpetual, eh maraming makukuwang libring na uh, open looks ito si Halalon going to the paint. But uh, so far, ito, nakadalawang mintis na siya inside the, the six-minute mark ng fourth quarter. Coronel, binalik sa laro ng coaching staff ng Perpetual Help. Libre, libre si Halalon. Mintis from point block range is Giovanni. Thompson on the run, finds Aquetti streaking. But that ball hit his leg. Time out, catching up. Down as much as seven. If they led as much as seven, now nagte trail sila ng pito. 63-56. Kami po yung nagbabalik dito lamang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Sabini JJ Florendo at J Fox 29. Woo! Di ako makaalis sa kinaupuan ko. Pang final four talaga ang laban ng AUBS UPHSE. Sabi ni Alexi Dizon at Lexcellence 01. Maraming salamat sa paggamit ng hashtags. 
NCA Season 91 and AUVS UPHSD. Tag nyo lamang kami at Andre underscore Felix and at the Big Alls. Whoever wins will get win number five. Whoever loses will get their third loss. And this is going to be a crucial possession for Aureliano. And yes, mula sa tres para kay Yonsei Holtz. Just his first, first three-pointer today with seven is Yonsei. Yes, coach. And keeping the game close itong si Yonsei Holtz. Kanina, pito. Ngayon, apat na lang yung kalabangan. A great possession for the Aurelia. Great play called by Coach Jerry of the timeout. Thompson to Coronel. They're being very patient. Talking about perpetual. Aquetti hammered inside by Alan Enriquez and Bright Babalik sa linya ngayon Enriquez tinawagan ng pang-apat na personal foul 30 foul Aureliano and there's that two-man game again between those two big guys of uh, Perpetual talking about uh, Bantayan who has been giving uh, good quality minutes para dito sa Perpetual and Aquetti earlier we saw a two-man game give and go between Bantayan and Aquetti ngayon high-low play naman para dito sa dalawang players ni Gonzari and Rosario Donald Gomaru comes back in Kent Salado ay lalabas there is Junric Baloria on your screens dating naglaro baka sa Perpetual help now in the pros Giovanni Alalons, left to right, left to right. Nagahanap ng magagawa dito. Almost a turnover. Possession still with Aureliano with eight seconds left on their shot clock. 64-59, a five-point game. Alalon finds Dionce. He won't hesitate, but he won't make that outside try. Enriquez, the ballet shot is good for Alan Enriquez for his 12th point today, Coach O. That's the effect when you have a shooting big man there. You bring out the big man of uh, Perpetual uh, outside and then the, uh, that opens up offensive rebounding for Aureliano. Aquetti hands it over to Scotty Thompson. Thompson using the left. Aquetti inside. Aquetti using the glass. Simple, simple. Para us na natin ang pang 23 puntos ni Aquetti ngayon. Back and forth we go. Lamang pa rin ng lima ang perpetual help. Kanina, Aquiliano ang lamang at nagahabol ang perpetual ng first half. Ngayon naman sila ang in control. Halalon! Ganda ng depensa kay Halalon, especially in the second half, Coach o. At ngayon naman, balikan natin si Roxanne Montealegre. Rox? Andre, Coach Olsen, napakainit ang laban ngayon. Kaya naman kanina napansin nyo na nung halftime labang ang Arellano Chiefs pero ngayon nakahabol ang Perpetual Altas. Kaya naman natanong ko si Coach Ice at si Barry Tobias kung paano ito nangyari at kung anong balak nilang gawin para maibalik ang kanilang lamang sa game na to. Sabi nila they want to stick to their system which is triangle offense. Nainiwala sila dito at syempre kailangan lang depensahan ang main players ng kapilang team na si Scotty Thompson at si Bright Aquedi. Pero in the, at in the end, ang, ang nainiwala sila na ito ay isang battle of effort. So dun tayo magkakaalaman mamaya at makikita natin yan sa pagtapos ng game. Back to you guys. Marami salamat, Rox. Aquedi almost the basket. Muntik ng mapatalon ang mga estudyante at guro ng Perpetual Help Altas and fifth foul called on Yonce graduate man Yonce Holmes not that kind of game that he wanted to play as we take a look at our smart strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Lib the Smart Life Aquetti Binraso dun si Yonce Holmes ito si Perpetual ngayon getting a lot of opportunities of the offensive rebounds at kanina, ito si Coronel ang nakakuha ng offensive rebound doon. It has been the guards who are really rebounding well for Perpetual. You have uh, Thompson yes. who has 14 big rebounds already. Wow. Tagangon has 9. At ito si Coronel, nakakuha wow. na naman oh. offensive rebound doon. So yung guards ng Perpetual really do doing a good job of helping out on the rebound. Ito siya pwede pero nakakuha nga ng kanyang mga guards for the rebound. Thompson misses a boo-boo with that lefty. Balik ang bola sa Aureliano. Magtitipon-tipon daw muna sila, sabi ni Coach Jerry Codiniera. Frustrated there was Scotty Thompson, Brian Aquery. 
talking to his teammates and the coaching staff, lamang ng 5 ang perpetual help 66-61. SD Sexy Loves and the cheer dancers of the Perpetual Help Altas in full support. Even their foreign students are here this afternoon. Ngayong Huwebes, ika-anim ng Agosto. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunod, mga kapamilya. Saan man kayo naroon, Luzon, Visayas, at Mindanao. And to our mga kapamilya kababayan all over the world watching via the Filipino channel, Andre Felix together with the legend, the great, my idol coach Olsen Rasela and our third member for ABS Event Sports Broadcast Team, Roxanne Monte Alegre, our director Raul De Ocampo, thank you. Agaw don turnover for Arellano, balik ang bola sa perpetual help. Not that kind of sequence you want to see if your coach Jerry Codenera coming from a timeout. Yes, big turnover earlier coming off the timeout. To see Deontay Holtz hit that big three. Pero no, ngayon turnover ang nangyayas si Rayano. But they get possession again. And they turn, it again, turn the ball over again. Coach Jerry is frustrated. Banging that ball to the ground. He only has a timeout left. He used that timeout. It resulted to a turnover. The ball went back to them. It resulted to a turnover. As our Coliseum Bargaroli Manlapas announces last two minutes. There's no way that you can stop a bright acquit who's that big, that strong, Coach O. That's what you can do with the same thing that you can do with Banga. He was able to do it. Acquit. Hard foul. He was able to do it. Banga. Second. Personal foul, Nico Banga, their team captain, Aquedi, 11 of 15. Mula sa linya ngayong araw. Actually, I think it was Nichols who was called for that uh, foul. Pero ito si Banga making sure na hindi makakashoot. No, no three-point play for uh, Bright Aquedi. And our officials talking to Coach Arik Del Rosario. There is official number 50, Jaime Rivano. Two free throws for Brian McWhitey. Apat na minimintis na McWhitey at the line today. Bung season. Walo, make that lima na ang mintes ni Aquete. He is 11 of 16. Most of his points in this game has been coming from the free throw line. Yes, Coach O. He has a total of 23, but 11 of those coming from the line today. And he strokes that second, splits his charities, has 24 in totality. Game Aro, under two minutes to play. If Arellano wants to make a run, now is the perfect time to do it. Nice steal by Aquedi, that's a crucial one. Thompson all the way! Sabi na crucial yung turnover na yun. And it was a big man. Ang umagaw dun kay Giovanni Holalon, si Aquedi. At nalibre nga, it's now an 8-point lead for Perpetual. Coach Jerry Codinier burns his last time out. Kami po yung magbabalik.
Welcome back to the arena here in San Juan City on this rainy Thursday afternoon. Kanina umulan to Miguel, umulan na naman. At tuwan-tuwa ang mga estudyante ng University of Perpetual Health System Delta from Las Piñas. Why not? They are up by eight. Pinakamalaking kalamangan nila ito. Thanks to that basket from Scotty Thompson. Thanks to that assist from Bryda Quetty. He stole the ball from Giovanni Alalon who commits his ninth turnover. And that was big. Uh, and, and that forced uh, Coach Jerry to call his last timeout of the game. Giovanni averages close to six turnovers per game. Nichols fires away. They have to make their last hurrah. Banga inside. That was big. They're asking for a foul. Coach Barry Tobias and Coach Jerry Codiniera telling his boys to employ that trap, that full court defense. Thompson, that pass to Saloni Coronel, finds Aqueti. Mintes Dagangon, Aqueti again! And that's a rebounding of Perpetual. Right, yung guard sila, Dagangon had the opportunity for that putback, but it was Aqueti finishing that. Aqueti now has 26. Nichols. Wala pa rin, Gumaru finds Banga inside. Offensive foul for Nico Banga. Caught warding off with his left. Yan ang pangatlong personal na ni Nico Banga. Ito sa slow mo, makikita natin. It was a good challenge by Aqueti. Nailang si Banga doon, kaya hinawi niya. Ito si Aqueti. Aqueti! Nakuha ang kanyang pang 28 puntos. Ginamana, nilista mo ba? And mukhang it's all over here. I mean, there's still 53 seconds remaining. But Perpetual is just really pounding it inside Coach Olsen. Lumaki na bigla itong kalamangan ng Perpetual help. And itong Arellano actually firing blanks dito sa last two minutes. From the outside, from threes, wala sila nakuha. From the inside, it's a total uh, defensive effort for uh, Perpetual. And those turnovers from Arellano really hurt them, especially here in the second half. Especially leading as much as seven in the first half. Kapara, wala na. And that baseball pass to Aqueri. Aqueri wants to slam this. Ongolo, Ongolo, challenging Aqueri. Pinuntahan pa si Aqueti, napangiti na lang si Aqueti. Yan yung gustong gawin ni Aqueti, no? They want, they want also him to seal this game with that slam dunk. Aqueti. Now 14 of 19 at the line today. 76 free throw shooter gets both to go. 20. Wala nang timeout ang Arellano. Nilabas na si Giovanni Halalon ni Coach Jerry Codiniera. There's still 43.1 seconds remaining. If you're an Arellano fan, gusto mo makahabol, now is the time. Nichols, wala. Nichols gets it back. Nichols, pinag-isipan. Nichols fires away. Yes, mula sa tres. Umahabol itong si Nichols and Arellano. Time is not on their side with 33.7 remaining. Thompson. Binigay kay Sadiwa. Finds Aqueti. Nikta Tamayo. Ngayon kay Thompson. Thompson. They will just run the clock here. Aqueti inside. Talagang si Ongolo Ongolo. Nakikipag-wrestling na lang ito si Ongolo Ongolo kay Brad Aqueti. Buti hindi pikot ng batang ko. Pero ito si Ongolo Ongolo not giving up a dunk. Yes. Ano man, ano? Yes. And stepping in front of Aqueti. Dalawang opportunities na. Na ayaw bigyan itong si Aqueti ng dunk. Aqueti is just making a fortune from the line today. But 
misses on that try. 15 of 22, si Akweti ngayong araw mula sa linya. Six point eight remaining. Later on, I pag-usapan natin at sa sabi namin ng mga laro bukas tuloy po ang action. Yes, di po kayo na kakamali ng naririnig. Bukas balik action na naman and we offer three games every Friday. So tomorrow will be an NC Friday triple header. We will talk about the schedule and the games. Tomorrow, this looks like a done and a one ball game for perpetual help. If you're coach Jerry Godinier and the Arellano Chiefs, what can you say here, Coach Olsen, that they have to work on, especially moving on to their next game? Yes, well, you have to play the whole 40 minutes. I mean, they, they had control of the game, uh, most of the game, but it was the, really the fourth quarter uh, run of uh, perpetual that really gave them this uh, victory. Ang susunod na mga kalaban nila ay sa August 14 ng College of St. Daniel Blazers. That will be next Friday. While for the Perpetual Health Altas, it will be on Tuesday, August 11 against Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals. Wala na ang tira doon ni David Ortega. Na oh, score. she wrote it. Nakasalaro nga ito. Final score natin. 76 para sa Perpetual Health Altas. 66 para sa Arellano Chiefs and Perpetual Help will move to 5 wins and 2 losses Arellano will drop to 4 and 3 there is our final score we will wrap things up sa aming pagbabalik dito lamang sa NCA Season 91 sa abs Event Sports and Action Babalik dito lamang sa ABS Event Sports in Action at Balls High Definition Channel 167. Our final score 66 para sa Arellano University Chiefs, 76 para sa University of Perpetual Health System, Dalta Altas. Your thoughts, Coach Olsen, bago natin na turn things over kay Roxanne. Well, big win for Perpetual Health coming off that uh, loss uh, in the la last time out to uh, San Beda. But uh, this is really a total team effort. When we talk about Perpetual, it, it's always uh, Aqueti, it's always Thompson. Uh, Thompson, it's always Dagangon. Tama. But in today's game, they got quality minutes from Batayan, from Coronel, and also Eze, who really uh -huh. provided uh, the inside presence, not to mention he had 8 points and 5 rebounds. But of course, yung best player natin today is Mr. Brightside, Bright Aqueti, nakasama si Roxanne. Rox? Congratulations to the Altas. I have here Bright Aqueti with 31 points. No, Bright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's uh, everyone's really happy now, no? We just want to ask now, what did you do to be able to bounce back for this game? Because last game wasn't, didn't, you didn't do so well with San Beda, but this one you were able to turn things around. So what was the key for that? Yeah, we just went back and practiced and worked on our mistakes and that's it. Oh, wow. All right. But then for the first three quarters, Aureliano was, you know, had a you had a close game with Aureliano, but what was the... What was the key? You think you made the difference for the team? Well, I, I don't really know though. <laughs> I guess Very humble. Yeah, my teammates did. <laughs> All right, so now you have a chance to greet and thank people who supported you for this game. Yeah, I want to say thank you to Mr. Anthony Camayo, 
Dr. Brigadier General Tony Tamayo and Major Richard Tamayo and the whole the whole perpetual family. Yeah. So, panel, you have anything for Brian? Well, uh, I just want to ask him, ano sa tingin niya binigyan natin ang nickname Mr. Brightside? What? I we give you the nickname Mr. Brightside. Do you like it? You, do you like your name, Mr. Brightside? Well, uh, man, <laughs> any name is cool with me, as long as it's good to go. Uh, Mr. Brightside is definitely shining bright today. <laughs> thank you, Roxanne, and thank, okay, thank you, Bright. You. Congratulations to Mr. Brightside, Bright Aqueti, 18 years of age. Wow, nung ganun ako, 18, di ako ganyan. A lot more years for uh, this young man and for Perpetual. Maganda pa ang future nitong oh, team yeah. na to. Oh yeah, congratulations once again to Bright at sa University of Perpetual Health System, Delta Altas. Sabi ko nga po, bukas may laro pa tayo. Yes, tatlo po ang aming handog ng ABS-CBN Sports na mawapanood nyo live on ABS-CBN Sports in Action Channel 23 at Balls High Definition Channel 167. Unang laro natin bukas ng alas 12 ng tanghali. It will be the San Sebastian College Recoleto Stags nakakatalo lamang sa College of St. Benil ng Martes kalaban ang Lyceum of the Philippines University Pirates. Sa pangalawang laro, si Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals kontra sa Colegio de San Juan de Letra Knights. Tayong dalawa mga kasama doon, Coach Olsen. At sa huling laro, bukas ng alas 4, it will be Anton Rojas and Mikey Reyes for the Mapua Institute of Technology Cardinals kontra sa kakapanalo lamang ni Jonathan Gray and College of St. Benil Blazers. Coach, always a pleasure to be working with you. I will see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. yes what a Cap. treat for the NCAA fans in today's game. Abangan nila uli mga laro bukas. Tayo na naman uli, Andrew. <laughs> Ibang kulay naman ang ating susutin bukas. As always, a pleasure working with Olsen Rara Rasela, our director for ABS-CBN Sports, Raul de Ocampo, and for our courtside reporter, aming kasamahang si Roxanne Monte Alegre. Sa unang laro natin ngayong Webes, ika-anim ng Agosto, tagumpay ang San Beda College Red Lions sa score na 88-69 to contra JRU Heavy Bombers. The final score for these two teams ngayong hapon, 76 for the University of Perpetual Health System, Delta Altas, 66 para sa Arellano Chiefs. Para po sa aking partners, Coach Olsen Rara Rasela, ako po si Andre Felix na nagsasabing laging tumutok sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action para lamang sa lahat ng aksyon ng NCA Season 91. Ilabas ang galing!